One of the things that really bothers me is when people talk about this mythical they, you know, this, this group, this them or this they, that in many cases it, it doesn't really exist. You often see this in political arguments. They talk about the them or the they. That's, they, they never specify who that group is. They don't name individual names. They don't really name organizational names. They just talk about those people, them, the they. You also see this with news media, like in a, a great tragedy where a lot of people die, if the news media really cares about that story, they'll actually go into detail about individuals. They'll name individual names. They'll tell you about their life stories. They'll really try to play on your emotions to get you emotionally involved in that tragic story. Uh, or if they don't care about it, they don't do that, right? There's many tragedies that the news media either gives very little time to, or they just then refer to the group as them or they. This is, you know, they're not going to give you individual names because they're not really invested in that particular story the way they are in some other stories. And I, I see this sometimes with People that criticize Linux and free and open source software, the people that are outside the free and open source software movement, you know, they often talk about they should do this. They should do that. They should all build one Linux distribution. They should all build one desktop environment. They should all have one set of standards for everything. They. Who the hell is they? Right? Who is this they, they they're talking about? I, it, this they doesn't exist. And I don't think these, these critics, because they're not part of the free and open source movement, they don't understand how ludicrous what they're, what they're saying is, you know, because, you know, we understand they. Who, who are we talking about here, right? They're, this they they're talking about actually doesn't exist. There's no one single group that can get together and decide something, right? Not with free and open source software, not with Linux, uh, the kernel or the operating system or anything. It's all a community that they they're talking about. I'm assuming is Linux or just free and open source software in general, which is not really a group of people. I mean, there's a community around it, but it's more of a ideology, right? It's more of an idea, a philosophy. So when they say they, you know, an idea, it's not going to get together with itself and decide on standards, right? They're, they're trying to equate us with something that we're not, you know, you can actually have a they when you're talking about proprietary software, whose their software is developed by a proprietor, you know, a corporation, you know, that's a they, they can do this with their proprietary software because it's basically one guy in charge, the CEO, you know, and everything is a chain of command all the way down and everybody has to be on board with what he says. It's a dictatorship. It's a authoritarian, right? He makes a decision where that company goes. Everybody is on board with it. If you want to still be with that company and earn a paycheck, right? It's different with the free and open source software community because we're not all one entity, one organization. We're all individuals. You know, it is really just a loose cabal of individuals, right? We're not all on the same page. We don't want to be on the same page, right? Everyone is doing their own thing. And when I, they talk about they should all develop one distribution, one desktop environment, one whatever. You know, we're doing that. We're all developing one thing. Well, the one thing we want to work on, that's the one thing we're, we're all working on. And, and that's great. That is the strength of this community. And I think, you know, too many people just don't get that. And just briefly, I, I want to talk about standards when they talk about they should develop one standard for this, one standard for that. We should all be following the POSIX standards. We should all be following the file system hierarchy standard, or we should all be following the Linux standards base or whatever the heck Red Hat came up with 20 years ago that nobody follows, right? We should all be following it though. Really? Who, who decided that, right? <laughs> like, you can't make me follow something. I there, There's no way because I don't work for you, right? And you don't work for me. I can't make you do what I I want to do either, right? That's it's impossible. It is, it's like just a total fiction. It's a utopian fiction that these people seem to think that is going to exist at some point. That we can all be free to do whatever we want, but at the same time, we're freely going to choose to all do the same thing. That will never ever happen. And honestly, it's not the people outside the Linux community or the free and open source software community that really bug me on some of this stuff. I see people within the Linux community that talk about we should have standards. We should all just 
you know, build one distribution, one desktop environment. We should have one set of standards for this and that, right? All your config files should go in your home directory slash dot config. You know, a config file should never be in any other directory other than that. Well, who, who decided that, right? And who agreed to it? I didn't agree to it. If I want to build a piece of software and I want to put my config files in the home directory, that's where I'll put it, or in slash Etsy or whatever directory I decide. I'll make up a directory right now. It doesn't matter because I can do whatever the hell I want and you're free to do whatever you want. I mean, if you want to put all your config files in .config, go ahead. Man, more power to you. That, that's great. The Linux standards base, you know, that Red Hat thing I, I briefly mentioned, you know, where Red Hat got together and decided on some standards. And one of the standards was, hey, you know, all Linux distributions should all settle on one packaging format. And that packaging format should be RPM, <laughs> Red Hat Package Management. And uh, nobody uses RPM other than Red Hat and SUSE, right? And, uh, like, most of the Linux distributions out there are Debian-based distributions, right? They use Debian packages. But we're going to use this thing that most distributions don't use, a very small percentage. Yeah, we're all going to settle on RPM. You know, all you guys that are already invested in Debian packages, you need to change to conform to us. No, like, like that thing was a joke as soon as it was written, right? Because there's no they. You know, there, there's no they when we talk about the free and open source community. And the purpose of, of today's video is really for those of you involved in the Linux community and free and open source software, if you're one of these people trying to invent a they, a they that doesn't exist, a they that will never exist, right? Stop doing that, right? You're, you're doing something totally counterproductive to the ecosystem that already exists, which is everybody is free to do whatever the hell they want with free and open source software. That's the beauty of it. You're trying to take this great free society that we built and turn it into this dictatorship, right? This totalitarian dictatorship where somebody is going to tell us exactly what to do. Well, at that point, it's no longer free and open source software, right? At that point, it, it becomes proprietary software. We're just like proprietary software at that point, there's no longer, you know, what makes this special no longer exists then. So my advice is if, if you're out there and you see people either within the free and open source community or without the free and open source community, you know, cr criticizing us from outside the community, and they're talking about they, you know, they should do this, they should all get together and do that, just straight up ask these people, who the hell is they? Peace, guys.